watching West Harford Community Television. You're watching West Harford Community Television. You're watching West Harford Community Television. For the community, by the community. Get ready to find hope. Get ready to be inspired. Get ready to discover your full potential. Get ready for total success. From the Total Success Coach, Princess Bola Adelani. Hi, this is Princess Bola Adelani, the Total Success Coach, welcoming you to Inspired Success, your monthly dose of inspiration power, the program that equips you with the power and inspiration for total success. That is success at work and in life. It's always fun, yes it is, to have you tuning in and watching this great show. Today, I am so excited. I know I always say that, but I am really, truly excited about today's broadcast, about my guest, because it's that time of the year. And you, some of you are thinking, what time of the year? Yes, it's October, the time of the year when I present the Total Woman Conference for Girls and Young Women. Some of you don't have a clue what that is, some of you already know that I produce two conferences every year, one for women, more mature women, and that's always in the spring. And so I want you to save the date. That's on March 31st, 2012 at the Simsbury Inn. And then, of course, in October, in the fall, my conference for the younger women, young girls and young women. And the Total Woman Conference um, is a one-day conference to care, C-A-R-E, celebrate, applaud, refresh, and equip girls and young women in all spheres of their lives. What many of you may not know is why I am so passionate, why I'm on this mission to empower girls and young women. And, um, you know, if you want to know why, I shared my personal story last month with Jacqueline Vossell, and you can always get the archive of the show on my website, royalproclamations.com. Just click on the TV show tab, click on the Inspiration On Demand page, and you, know, you can have the opportunity, if you didn't get to watch it last month, to watch um, and review that broadcast. It would really inform you and tell you a lot about where I'm coming from. And so like I said, I'm really very excited about today's show because I have part of my care team as well as some phenomenal young women in today as my guests who are just gonna be sharing their story and their experiences and some of their takeaway from the previous conferences we've held. And then I'll be sharing with you what you can expect on Saturday, October 22nd at Capital Community College in Hartford, Connecticut at the second annual Total Women Conference for Girls and Young Women. So it is my great pleasure to welcome on to Inspire Success, a woman that truly he inspires me. I say this to her all the time because, you know, a lot of people talk, but very few people walk the walk, you know, walk the talk, you know. So talk, they say, is cheap. And, you know, Lisa really, truly, truly inspires me because she really um, puts action to what um, she talks about and what she believes in. So it is my great pleasure, my great honor, really, to welcome you, Miss Lisa Buffington um, of Prudential, to Inspire Success. Thank you so much, Princess. Hopefully, I'm glad to be here today. Thrilled. Yes, yes you're <laughs> welcome. And then Otto Polat. Yeah 
Yes, it is my great pleasure of Capital um, Prep in Hartford, Connecticut. And, um, you know, she was a participant at the last um, Total Woman Conference that we had. And uh, she's just going to be sharing, you know, from their own story about the challenges that are facing women today and the younger girls and, um, you know, her experience and takeaway from the conference last year. So it's my great pleasure to welcome you on to Inspired Success. Thank Autumn. you for having me. And then seated next to Autumn is um, Leslie Cadona. And, um, you know, these are just amazing, as you will discover as we go into continuing the show. Um, um, uh, Leslie is just an amazing young woman. Um, she also is a student at Capital Prep and uh, a previous attendee of the conference. So it is my pleasure to welcome you, Leslie, to Thank Inspire you. Success. And um, lastly, definitely not least, is Lavette Laboy. This is another woman that's just on top of her game. Um, I mean, I come across, I, I mentor, I coach, I, I train, I speak, I empower women from all walks of life, you know, um, executive women at all kinds of levels. And honestly, truly, I have met very few with the kind of um, expertise, the skill set, the professionalism of Lavette, honestly. And so it's my great pleasure and honor to be partnering with you um, and the ambassadors of Capital Community College um, to present this second annual Total Women Conference to girls and young women. And so it's my great pleasure to welcome you, Lavette Laboy, to <laughs> Inspire Success. Thank you, the pleasure is mine. Yes, uh, so we're gonna really drive, dive, dive straight in into our conversation. I wanna begin with Lisa and, 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 and Lavette. And I, I, I know every woman has a story, you know. I shared with um, viewers last month what informs my passion, you know, what gave birth to my passion. And, uh, you know, I, I shared how I lost my mother when I was just 18 and how that created a void in me for a, a mother kind of figure, you know, in my life and, and birth this, this passion and, and any story and what is your story? Because I mean, this is a woman with, I used to be a corporate lawyer, like many of you know, and, um, I know what it is like being in corporate America. Okay. And then on top of that, you are a mom, a wife as well, you know, all that going on in your personal life. But then you still have the time. You're also, a, may I add, the founder of uh, YWCC. So you, you can tell us a little bit more about YWCC, which is a capital prep. And then, you know, just tell us why. Why this passion, you know? Yeah, thank you for the opportunity to do so. Um, you know, it really stems back when I, I think about, um, you know, where I started, the same age as, as these girls, mm -hmm. um, as the oldest, you know, sibling, mm -hmm. um, the oldest of uh, the first generation, I mm. would say, um, individuals who even preparing for college mm. within my family. Wow. Um, and, you know, so that was new, new ground yes. um, for my family, obviously new ground for me. And um, feeling my way through that whole process and yes. just being very nervous yes. and unsettled mm. about you know, approaching that endeavor. Um, yes. Not necessarily um, you know, having the, the self-confidence and my yes. ability to actually um, you know, be able to move forward and be successful. So um, I think about you know, the women in my life at that point in time, um, you know, within my family, um, you know, some, some coaches and mentors who had worked with me to help me um, build my mm. own self-confidence and um, to basically guide me in the importance of setting goals yeah. and um, you know developing a plan and staying true to it yes. um, because I think without that roadmap I can't say with a hundred percent confidence that I would have gotten through school mm -hmm. um, been success successful in landing my first job immediately out of school um, and then progressing my career going forward. So it basically starts there for me. Yes. Uh, when I think about... And I, I just want to stop you there because this mm -hmm. is really what um, this program represents. You know, it's like, you know, so you were new. You were the first generation in college and having no predecessor. But having to look and search around, you know, in your immediate network for role models. Someone who could help guide you and provide that roadmap for you so that you'll be successful. And that's what this is all about. That's what the Total Woman Conference is all about. It's a one-day conference, we say, to care for women, but we bring in um, presenters and speakers 
who uh, recognize corporate leaders and, 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 and successful already in their arena. And they come and they come to speak and interact and build relationship with these young girls. So uh, amazing that um, that is what kind of informed your, your, your passion to want to really be there for others. Absolutely, and I mean the the conference, um, you know that you that you put on uh, the resources, the tools, yes. you know, equipping girls and just giving the opportunity for the networking is so so powerful and so valuable. Um, you know, without those types of uh, venues and, and forums, it's difficult. It's often difficult for young girls to kind of come to the conclusions themselves about exactly how to go out and get those resources and yes. get those tools. Yes. So, um, you know, that, very excited to be part of, you know, this year's event. Well, great, great. Same here. It's my honor as well to have you on board. You have just been a phenomenal support and resource. And then, so how did you come about um, YWCC? Tell us what YWCC stands for and, and how you got to um, be co-founder, founder. Of, of, of that organization, which is located at Capital Prep yes. in Hartford. Yes, yeah. tell us a bit more. Well, um, before I do that, actually, um, I should probably, you know, state some of the things that we, you know, do over in my organization. I know it happens in other, um, you know, corporate organizations as well. Is the uh, focus on, you know, women networks. Okay. You know, within yes. the business community, um, you know creating learning circles, creating women networks, um, creating these uh, forums for empowerment yes. so women can kind of come together, focus on their success skills, um, develop and broaden and deepen their networks and uh, leverage you know, the power of relationships. Absolutely. So, you know, I come from that because I've, you know, it's something I'm very involved in um, at Prudential. It's also something I'm very involved in more broadly through the industry um, yeah. that I work in. So when I recognize the value mm -hmm. in um, you know those types of forums and, and settings, uh, I was quick to come to the conclusion that you know what there's an opportunity to do this at a younger age. Okay, so that's Absolutely. that's just for the the, yes. the background, so you understand you know where my passion where would come. Um, but in terms of what we've got going with Capital Prep, yeah. um, it basically started with an internship I was doing with one female student. Um, she was a junior at the time who wanted to work with me on her senior social justice project, which she was focusing on creating a, you know, mentoring program for her peers, you know, broadly oh, wow. throughout her school. And she wanted to focus on girls. Wow. So I worked with her, um, you know, through the course of her uh, junior year, um, getting ready for her senior year's project. And through that, uh, she this wonderful young woman said, you know, let's, let's bring in a couple of my peers yes. to the conversation because I think what we can do is, you know, put more power and ideas behind, you know, the thought process here. And basically where, what we concluded was that the girls wanted to create their own forum, their own peer leadership group within the school. Yes. And, um, you know, that's where the, the idea yeah. of the YWCC and, and it's young women creating change was born. Oh wow. So it basically started as an idea. It's the girls getting together and it was, you know, let's determine a mission. You know, what is it we want to accomplish as a group? Let's determine what we want to call it. I mean, everything was born through the ideas of these girls. Yeah. And I really just helped create the, the put forum it together, for the, put the it together. platform. Mm -hmm. And it's been four years now, hasn't it? Actually it's been six years. Oh wow, amazing, yeah. mm -hmm. amazing. Mm -hmm. It's amazing when when um, you know young women we can do that and how committed you are to that mission of empowering um, you, these young girls. I know how committed to you are. And then I want to bring in Lavette into the conversation as well. I know you have your personal story mm -hmm. in terms of what informs and drives, uh, why you're so driven as well about empowering you know, young girls and young women, your mother of, of three um, teenage girls. And um, so you, you share with us quickly. Total Women Conference, once I attend to the um, last year event, it really engaged my heart. Um, since I, after surviving uh, domestic violence in Puerto Rico and had to leave everything behind and start all over again, I kind of identify with the idea of courage and yeah. other young women and inform, especially our Latin community, about domestic violence and how you can survive it. and. Um, being a living testimony of yes. it is a good um, role, uh, role model and example. Exactly, and, and how 
you know, the way we can eradicate some of the abuse that women continue to face, mm -hmm. you know, um, whether it's domestic, whether it's physical, whether it's verbal, is by empowering women and by, by, by developing their sense of worth and, and mm -hmm. helping them to understand who they are, the power that they have within them, um, and their values, teaching them how to be assertive and know how to kind of set boundaries. Mm -hmm. And these are some of the, um, the, the topics and the things we achieve at the conference. So we're having a panel discussion, for example, called the personal care panel, and one of it is relationships mm -hmm. um, as the ultimate um, destiny breakout maker. And, um, you know, these are some of the conversations we're going to be having. And so, you know, I, I totally, um, you know, understand now where you are coming from, and, I, and I, I'm sure the viewers do as well. And um, brings me to the next question is, you know, the challenges that are facing women and, and even younger women, you know, um, that I have observed, you know, whether it's in the workplace, um, being um, a life coach to so many women, and um, whether it's in the, in the workplace or whether it's just socially, I, I continue to find there are disparities in the way in terms of where professionally um, equity in terms of inequity in terms of pay and in, in terms of um, how women are respected and how women are in leadership, um, you know, it's still very inequitable. And um, just socially where you look at popular culture and how um, our girls are being socialized and how girls are being represented. And I think it's kind of very challenging uh, growing up with this kind of mixed um, communication, this conflicting message in terms of their struggling to define who they are. Mm -hmm. You know, are we just, you know, girls and sex objects and this sexualized um, image of, of who we are as girls and just good enough for the kitchen and homemakers only? Or are we also this professional woman or can be? And um, these are some of the challenges that I find, but I want to bring Autumn and, and Leslie into the conversation let them let's hear it from the horse's mouth since you know you are right there living at that age what are some of the challenges you would say facing you whether it's academically or, or socially or personally well for me personally well i'm a young woman myself so going to school every day and being surrounded by my peers who don't necessarily have positive role models at home and every time we look on tv we see something derogatory towards women so it's like you need role models wherever you are in order to succeed. And for me, when I'm at home doing homework, like I feel like there's no reason why I'm doing it some days because it's like it's so much work. But once I know like once I get back to school, everything will be okay. I, I have something to look forward to. I want to go to a four-year university, things yeah. like that. So I know that I will succeed. Good, good. So some of the challenges that she, she nailed on the head, very good is uh, an inadequate um, number of um, role models, positive role models, especially female role models, you know. Mm -hmm. I know that as a woman of color that we don't have enough, you know, in our community who are strong, who are achievers, and um, who kind of represent the possibilities for us and model out what it mm -hmm. means to be a woman, mm -hmm. you know, in all sense of the word, without necessarily compromising your femininity, mm -hmm. you know. So that, that's a huge one, I, I find, too. Yeah, that's great. And Leslie, what would you say are some of the challenges for, for you? For me, on a social aspect, um, just being a minority, me and Autumn are minorities, and I see, like, as minorities, we don't get a lot of privileges that, you know, majorities would get. <laughs> and um, it's a matter of not falling into the st to statistics, statistics yes. or being a stereotype and yeah. finding those women who are you know like not the stay-at-home mom and yeah. you know do greater things and have went to college and it is possible because look at yeah. all these women sitting next to me exactly you know? it is possible yeah. and there's nothing wrong if someone decides you know this is what I want to do full-time as a woman as long as it's a choice you make you know and you don't kind of feel kind of boxed into that you know, so um, yeah, amazing, amazing, amazing. And this is what we we provide. This is a platform we provide uh, through the Total Women Conference for girls of all ages 
to interact with older women and, um, you know, have that opportunity of connecting and positioning them and empowering them for success and, and just having, you know, positive role models presented to them, you know, that debunk all the myths and, 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 and stereotypes. And so for you, Lavette, what would you say, have you are in academia, you, you work at Capital Community College, I know you work with a lot of female students, um, you know, you're, you're the chair for the ambassadors that includes um, both um, male and female um, students. So what are some of the challenges that you, you see that are facing the, the younger, younger women? My experience have been um, they lack a sense of direction. They lack yeah. good role models that they can identify with. Sometimes we um, can have the theory, but having leave, you know, yes. go through the experience, and they can identify with us because we haven't leave what we are trying to teach. Yeah. And um, they lack good mentors. Yeah. And a mentors network that they can go anytime yeah. they they want exactly yes mm -hmm. that sisterhood that network uh, mm -hmm. that you know that community that they can really access at any time you know not only among them yeah. but community leaders that they, they can see and they can um look up to them yes exactly and and that's what we're saying again the guidance is missing you know oftentimes for them um the motivation i find as well you know especially in our community the motivation can be very, very low instead of take, staying in school, staying in college, just staying the course, you know. Um, I, I remember going, speaking to, uh, um, to someone today who is even an older-ish woman, and she was saying, you know, oh, Princess Bola, just, just pray for me. Do whatever you need to do. Call me, whatever, because, you know, my, I'm, I'm doing this program, MIS, and, oh, it's so hard and all of that. So... It's sometimes just needing, getting that motivation, getting that encouragement, and then someone that they can access at any time and say, you know, hey, you know, keep me accountable, keep me motivated, you know, and, and just share wisdom with me. Uh, and what would you say? Um, I would, I would uh, echo what Lavette was saying around, um, you know, self-confidence and, and direction. Yes. You know, what I've observed is, um, you know, some of the struggles that the girls are experiencing as it relates to decision making. Yes. Right? I mean, you're getting influence of, from your peers, you're getting influences from your, the media, you're getting, um, you know, you're, you're lacking the uh, self confidence in your own, you know, in your own thinking of what a solid or a good decision would be. So what we do is spend some time with the girls to help them um, take a real deep, an inner look about their value system. So that exactly. once they understand their values, they can then, um, you know, feel feels better about, um, you know, taking on those difficult decisions. Yes. And, um, you know, feeling confident and kind of dipping their toe in unfamiliar water. Absolutely. And just call it, they're, you know, you're, they're following their gut versus following the what, peer what, or what, what society is, is telling saying. them. Mm -hmm. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> and so save that date, Saturday, October 22nd. Capital Community College is located on 950 Main Street in Hartford, Connecticut. You can go to the website totalwomanconference.com. I'm sure the, you, the viewing audience, you that's watching this show, you must have a woman or a young woman in your life. You must, you know. So whether it be your niece or your nephew, maybe you're a tutor, maybe you're a guidance counselor, a teacher, a professor, you know, you must have somebody in your life that you can gift this experience, that you can encourage or actually bring to the event. It is totally empowering, revolutionary, and life-changing, honestly. And it's much, 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 much needed, especially for our, our young girls and young women. Again, it's Saturday, October 22nd from 9 a.m. It's a full one-day conference to 5 p.m., and part of what we're doing this year that I'm very excited about is we're also recognizing the often overlooked achievements and contributions that our young girls make, um, you know. And um, the state um, secretary of state, Denise Merrill, will be presenting a young woman and young lady of distinction awards. And, um, you know, we also have fun things, you know. So it's not just the equipping and the speaking and the 
and the inspiration, but we have, you know, makeovers, facials, spa treatment, massage therapist. I mean, so it's just a full one day program just to care, celebrate, applaud, refresh, and equip girls and young women in all spheres of their life. Spirit, soul, body, mind, nothing missing, nothing broken, because we're after empowering and developing the whole woman you know, and making women feel more balanced, more whole. So, you know, there are all kinds of fun activities as well that speak to their demographic. Uh, we're going to be having some networking, you know. Want to start teaching them how to network across all kinds of lines. There are a lot of other schools and colleges that are represented at the conference, you know. So networking will be facilitated a little bit like speed dating kind of thing. And um, we're just going to be having fun. It's just a one-day event to have... To, to care and to celebrate, applaud, refresh, and equip. So, again, the website is totalwomanconference.com. It's not too late for you to register. It's not too late for you to gift someone the experience. And it's not too late for you to join the care movement. You know, it's a, a social movement of sorts now that, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm seeing myself in a couple of years taken on the road because I'm amazed. I was amazed at the last um, conference how many people travel from New York, New Jersey, and all around um, the New England or, or the East Coast to the conference. So, you know, my vision um, is in, in the long term to really take this on the road and, and produce Total Women conferences all over the major cities and around the globe, really. So, you know, through providing this template to affiliates in, in other, other parts of the world. So... Total Woman Conference is the place to go to register to learn more. We're on Facebook, we're on LinkedIn, we're on Twitter, social, totalwomanconference.com. You know, give somebody, invite somebody, encourage somebody to attend. Is, is there anything you'd just like to share in closing? I know you were there. That was actually where Lisa and I connected. Um, you know, I'd met her before, but that day was a divine connection. I was so inspired, like I said, just meeting her and seeing her bring all this group of young ladies and being so committed, you know, to, 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 that, to that mission. And um, so, you know, for you, what was the Total Woman Conference and how does that kind of help to, to um, you know, meet some of these needs that we talk, uh, talked about? We only have about two minutes left. So in just 30 seconds, I want everyone to kind of share sure. as we close. I mean, um, I've shared with you, uh, Princess, that m part of my role is to actually take the girls, and we attend different conferences on various subjects um, yeah. at colleges, you know, locally, yeah. and um, in different women's groups. And I, what I found is when we attended last year's conference, the girls just left truly inspired and um, motivated and empowered and wanted to take what they learned and bring it back to their peers. And yes. that really spoke to me. Yes, and they did. I heard a lot of amazing things that they did post-conference, um, you know, having conferences of their own, coming with some of the poetry they got from the conference and all of that. So that's great. That's part of what um, this program represents. And what was your takeaway very quickly, now in 30 seconds? Yeah. It has I, to be 30 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> and I would like to thank you for um, making me a stronger girl and young woman because I took so much away from that experience and I feel stronger and more empowered and motivated to go out into my community and implement a change, which is what the Women's Conference did for me. So oh, good. You. Awesome. And Leslie? Um, I just want to say that through um, that conference, we got to build an ev um, something between our peers, Got even, and we got even closer. And, you know, it taught me that for our organization, we can just do so much, and I feel that we can go to the next level and applaud each other for all our accomplishments like you did at the conference with the panel of women. Yes, yes, yes. I mean, I, t I say this all the time. What do you get when women are all in a room, dynamic, energetic, passionate women, a power explosion, okay? Power <laughs> explosion. No kidding. I'm telling you, women, the energy, they're just something. Sorry, Boris. I, we love you. I'm married to a man, so we love men, but there's just something peculiar when it's for girls, okay? So anyway, I... <laughs> Lastly, definitely not least, again, what was your takeaway, you know? What is that one thing that you think, yeah, Total Woman Conference it distinguishes us from every other conference? I know for me it's the fact that it's 
holistic. I use that word. It just means, you know, the whole person. It covers all spheres of a woman's life. You know, that's, for me, the peculiarity. And that's how I even came to set it up because mm -hmm. I used to go to conferences and it was either focused on money or health or relationship or church or faith or spirituality, you know. And I said, isn't there a one-stop shop where, because I'm, I'm a whole woman, life is integrated for me, where I can go and be spoken to. I didn't find any and I created one. So that's the, that, that for me, that makes it peculiar. What, what is it for you in terms of how Total Women Conference you know, does help um, to empower girls or the uniqueness. Okay. I most definitely have to uh, say that the encouragement and the empowerment and just letting the girls know that we are not alone. You are not alone in this fight. Okay. You are exactly. not alone. Exactly. That there mm -hmm. is a sisterhood, a network. They're just a community of people, mm -hmm. you know. So that sense of isolation that sometimes we feel, like as if I'm the only one going through this. Mm -hmm. You know, when you come to a conference like the Total Woman Conference, you say, yeah, you hear the stories, you know. You never knew my story until I shared it. And people will be like, wow, I didn't know you go went through that, you know. Mm -hmm. So hearing the stories of other women, you know, and how they've overcome will offer you hope and give, let you know that you're not alone and you can overcome as well. So I look forward to seeing you on Saturday, October 22nd, 2011, 9 a.m. until 5 p.m. Capital Community College, 950 Main Street, Hartford, Connecticut, at the second annual Total Women Conference for Girls and Young Women. Remember, again, it's TotalWomanConference.com. This is Princess Bola Adelani reminding you to keep smiling. Hey, come on, put a smile on your face. Life's too short, okay? Keep believing, keep networking, keep learning, and keep on keeping on. I'll see you next month when we'll be reviewing the year 2011, and um, I'll be bringing in some phenomenal guests. See you then. God bless. Thank you.